welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to discuss some of the top trends incoming for 2022 as seen on the runways. I've analyzed so many images. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you, but that is the name of the game. I want my channel to be somewhere you can come to find out all of the latest of what is going on in the fashion world. Not necessarily a news channel, but I'm here for the style updates. So if you're here for it, definitely hit the thumbs up button. It helps my channel. And without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, first on the agenda is rectangular bags. Okay, you will have definitely seen the viral Jacquemus Bambino bag. It's basically like a rectangular looking bag with like a tongue on top of it. And it's starting to sell out already, which is crazy. It's in a whole array of colors and it's literally like every influencer's dream. I'm sure it's going to be harder and harder to find. Personally, I don't love any of the Jacquemus bags. If you do, 100% love that for you. They're just not really like my personal style. They also have this Chiquito rectangle looking bag. It's already starting to sell out, which I'm not surprised by. Dior has also unveiled a new Lady Dior. I've seen it going around online. It basically looks like a Lady Dior that's like folded in half. Like, a, like it's like a flat, but it's rectangular. This is really interesting. I don't know how well these bags are gonna do per se, but I think they're definitely on the trend with the rectangle thing going on. Hermes also has this bag. I forget what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. It's basically just like a really, really long box bag. I really don't like it at all. Apparently it was like an older style and you can still find them. I'm not sure if they started doing them again or not, but I just remember seeing them like online somewhere. I don't even remember where and I was like, what is that? I thought I would just include it in case you didn't know this bag existed. Balenciaga has also released the new hourglass sling bag. It's basically like an extra long stretched out hourglass bag. Um, I think the hourglass bag, the original, is really cool. In my mind, it's just a timeless bag and it literally can go with anything. And I really love like the asymmetrical type shape. I think it's really cool. And I also think for a designer brand, they haven't jacked the prices on these bags yet. I think they're about 21 something US. So considering the realm of designer bags, that's like half the price of Dior, a third of entry level Chanel bag, you know? So I think that they're really like on it with that bag. This one though, I'm really not loving, but I can see influencers like really picking it up. Okay, next all of our runways, literally every single designer had mini skirts. It was impossible to go through any runway shows without seeing mini skirts like Dior, Saint Laurent, Emilio Pucci, Helmut Lang, like so many mini skirts, Miu Miu, Prada, they all had mini skirts. And I think in the right setting with the right material and the right outfit, I love a good mini skirt. I think they're so feminine and sexy and nice. What I don't like is when mini skirts are like way, way too tight and just like when you walk, they like ride up and it's just like not a lunchtime vibe. But I think a lot of the ones on the runways seem to follow a more boxy trend. Think of like Margot Robbie in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the white skirt she wore in that movie, very much that silhouette. Like not super, super tailored, not tight, definitely short, but I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of here for it. What do you guys think? What do you think of the mini skirt trend? I mean, spring is coming next. All the photos I'm sharing with you are from the spring runway shows. Okay, next is sheer clothing. So I don't necessarily know how I feel about this. I think on the runway it's cool and there's ways to wear it in life where you can, but at the end of the day, a nipple is a nipple. Like how do you disguise that? You know what I mean? And I think, I'm not sure if people are really going to adopt the whole like sheer nipple out thing. I think if anything, they're going to do bralettes underneath. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this trend? They had beautiful sheer items at Valentino, blouses. Dior even did a couple of sheer pieces. There's like one blouse where it's, it's opaque in the middle and then sheer on the sleeves. I thought that was interesting. Uh, there's a dress brand called Bronx and Banco, or it's like a clothing brand rather. It's a bit like entry level luxury, like dresses are about a thousand dollars, but like stunning, like stunning, stunning, stunning. I'll show you some examples, but they had an all sheer dress, which I'm like, okay, how, how are you supposed to wear that out? You know what I mean? You could do a nude bra underneath, yes or like the petals, but like I find even those sometimes they just make you look like you have like really flat nipples underneath the fabric. Like it's just weird, like it's, I don't know, but I, I think it's a cool trend. I think it's cool. What do you guys think of it? Next is sheer shoes. So PVC is definitely not going anywhere. I don't really love PVC personally. We have Gian Vito Rossi ever since 
fall has been doing a lot of PVC shoes. Amina Mawadi, of course, the princess shoes. I think they're called the bag on heels. Super, super hard to get. Very popular. Aquazura is also doing their own crystallized version of these. Louboutin, of course, always has their classic crystallized versions, but I'm surprised to see more and more brands doing this. I honestly thought it was going to be a trend that would kind of like die by now, but I don't hate it. I like when it's an embellished shoe. I don't love like the all clear though. What do you guys think of it? I'm so interested to know. I love reading your comments, by the way. Please leave me comments in all my videos. I love to engage with you. Okay, next is moon shaped shoulder bags. This has to be the biggest bag trend of 2022 I've seen so far. We are seeing so many brands do moon shaped, crescent shaped bags. Givenchy has done their version and they've got a neon one with like chain embellishment on it and then a top handle really interesting also Celine has one with their own like Celine print also I was surprised to see Balmain even did it called Gaia has a few of them called Gaia is super popular on Instagram social media Pinterest all of that very influencer friendly brand they definitely were quick to get onto the moon bag trend Gucci as well has their own version to name a few there are so many more examples but I don't want this video to be too long I don't know what do you guys think of this trend I don't love it I'm personally just like, I like the bags I have and I like the bags I like, you know what I mean? Let's sit in closer, I feel like the lighting is weird now. So the next one is feathers. Feathers were definitely seen on the runway. There is the designer Monique Lulier. Lulier? Lulier? She does gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning gowns. Feathers are seen on hers. A couple of other designers as well. I'll put examples for you. And then also since the holiday season, we've been seeing tons of feather kind of like bustier tops all across fast fashion. Really, really, really popular. Surprisingly expensive for a lot of the nice ones, like $300 for some of these shirts. And apparently they should. But I'm definitely happy about feathers. I have a feather skirt somewhere back here that I have literally had this skirt since i was 17 years old no joke let me show you so this is like literally a relic i think i've only worn it twice you guys the cost per wear on this is not good it's back when i worked for bcbg i literally walked into the equivalent of victoria's olive garden at the time and i wore this skirt with a shoulder padded cropped blazer and heels and i was 18 years old i don't think so many people have ever stared at me in my life and i was like this is awesome like no one dresses like this in victoria and i just rocked it i rocked it i owned it it was a moment anyways so long Long story short, I'm very happy to see feathers are not going anywhere. I think that they are such a stunning statement and they're just so much fun. Okay, next a big theme that I saw on runways was a lot of like shiny fabrics, a lot of embellishments, a lot of just like metallics happening. We saw this at Balmain. There's so many examples. They have a lot of like really glitzy dresses and fun things like that. Tom Ford did so many sequin bedazzled looks. Really beautiful, like slinky, sheer metallic fabrics as well. Like honestly stunning, super, super sexy. Dior also did some really beautiful, like glitzy dresses, stunning, stunning. Cannot imagine what they are charging for those. And then Gucci as well had a couple of embellished items, this particularly striking sequin dress that I will show you in the photo here. Oh my gosh, it's definitely a statement. I'm definitely here for it. Honestly, that entire Gucci runway show, like wow, the, the style, the tailoring, the suiting, the pink satin suit. Oh my Jesus. Stunning, 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 stunning. Like I can't even, I can't even. Like they honestly killed it. And there was barely any all over monogram. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. They're still gonna sell it in boutiques, I'm sure. But like, wow, what a glorious show. And also the fact that like the garters and the stockings were like out in the open. I'm like, okay, let's hopefully not make this a trend. But honestly, loved it. Apparently leather jackets are gonna be a thing for spring, which like I'm not surprised because when it gets like a little less cold, but not hot enough to wear no jacket, leather jackets and bombers are kind of like the next natural progression and trench coats. So I wasn't surprised to see, you know, several, several different types of leather jackets from Prada. They did literally tons. Tom Ford had a beautiful, like all gold leather jacket as well. That was cool. I think Dior even did one as well. Leather jackets are a classic. They're not really gonna go out of style, but there was definitely across Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, they definitely were saying trends for spring leather jackets. <laughs> Another trend, which is an accessory, which I'm loving at the moment, chain belts. Oh my goodness, I actually don't own one. Chanel, 
You are calling to me. A chain belt is on the horizon. I can feel it. I would love a Chanel chain belt. The only thing is, would I really wear it? Like you always see it merchandised on, you know, like a really nice like shift dress or almost you could even do like a t-shirt dress, a skirt as well. But some of my skirts have embellishments on them already. So it's a bit like gray area, but Mm, chain belts you guys chain belts i was so passionate about this this morning that i literally went and researched all of the amazing chain belts out there and then also the affordable options and i saw so many nice ones and i wanted to show you some of them so first let's go into the designer valentino has also done their version of a chain belt it's the crystallized v logo i think that is interesting it's very dainty i think it's really cute i don't like love it but i don't hate it they also have low stock and most of these designer ones are actually quite low stock off-white even has one gucci has a really amazing amazing chain belt it looks very heavy though but that came out i think last season but it's definitely still gonna be in for spring summer gorgeous 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 and you know what for a designer chain belt I hate to say it, it's not that bad, the price compared to the likes of like Chanel and some of the other ones. This also one I saw from Dolce & Gabbana, it's like so embellished. There's only one left, I'll link it below though. Oh my God, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like gemstone looking, fabulous. It's like a regal royal crown, but to cinch your waist. Oh my God, fabulous. I love it, I love it, I love it so much, I love it so much. Saint Laurent also did a couple of versions as well. There's like a charms belt, which is like super selling out. I have a couple of them linked, super cute, really cute. Half the price as well as Chanel. I did find some really cute ones on Etsy. I found a couple really cute ones on Revolve and I did find a couple of really cute like layered vintage ones on Etsy and like, the price though, they're very affordable. They're like $20, $30. So I'm like, are these gonna be good? But anyways, they look really good on the model and it's an accessory that you're probably gonna wear like max once a week, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't hold your breath on the quality of these living up to designer, but still nice. There are a couple I found on Revolve as well, a little bit higher price point, but still worth a mention because they're not designer, but they're not like, you know, $50. They're like 150 to 200 ish. Not horrible though. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. Givenchy did a really crazy intense thick one as did Bottega. I just thought I would show you because everyone's very familiar with like the very drapey, but we're seeing these very like armory looking kind of waist chain belts from these two designers. So I think that's really interesting. I'm sure there's more like that out there as well. But yeah, what do you guys think of these upcoming spring trends? Any ones that you love, any that you hate? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. As well, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. And if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you back on my channel. All right, guys, I'm gonna put some irrelevant content for you here to watch if you'd like to stay on my channel. And until the next video, bye.